Good morning, my people. Welcome to my channel. This is your boy, Dangel, from beautiful, amazing, and sunny Los Angeles. And, oh, I know how you love food delivery content. Nia video, Nia attempt, Nia challenge, $450 a day, California. Welcome, baby. You know me. Last talk, more business. I'm just gonna show you how many orders how hard, how strong, smart, whatever it takes to hit this $450. Hope dies last. $7.50. Three miles. Starbucks. First order. 6.20 a.m. Subscribe to my channel. Leave your likes. Comment down below. Now let's go, baby, to work. Yeah, what's up fam? I just want to say thank you so much for your support, for likes, for subscriptions, and for all the good stuff you're doing to me. It motivates me to make a better content. But the best thing you do, you're asking me, how can you support my channel financially? First of all, guys, you don't have to do that. I'm doing it for fun. I want to make you smile, I want to make you happy, and make myself happy, making you happy. But if you really want to help me financially, no problem. Under the video, you can find the button, thanks, and you will decide how much you want to donate. I will really appreciate it. More than that, my main goal is to be a number one artist, musician. So if you go down below in the description of the video and find my music channels, my original music and my covers, and if you subscribe to those channels, they will be just unheard of. They will be wow. Because this is my main goal. And very soon, I'm going to put my music video so you can enjoy. Thank you so much for listening. And let's get back to the video.
Oh my God. Yeah, a whole day already passed by. So, yeah. Very unfortunately, I will have to be honest with myself. Yeah, no $450 today. I don't know how much exactly. Uh, I'm very, very tired. I have like three, four more deliveries for today. Then the app's going to kick me out. And well, after 9, it's actually 8 p.m. right now. After 9 p.m., almost nothing. Unless you're going to work, you know, like until 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I'm not. So I'm going to show you how it's going. We're going to finish it. I'll have, you know, some to tell you in the end of the video. But all the comments and tips how to maximize your earnings, I'm going to film tomorrow because that was a crazy day, guys. That was a crazy day. Talk to you later. Let's go. Alright folks, I'm home, I'm done, that was crazy, crazy slow, crazy fight with myself, with the entire world of a food delivery, I'm done, I cannot even talk, I just need to go to sleep, so please forgive me, we'll talk about everything tomorrow. See you guys. Yo, good morning, everybody. So this is the next day. Beautiful morning, sunny, great weather, everything any person wish they have in their life. So as you could see, yeah, I didn't hit 450 again, but I will keep on trying because doesn't matter. It's still great. You know, you like this content. I'm doing my best. I have motivation. And from the other hand, well, you're saying this is a clickbait. But guys, honestly, who else from bloggers or even just for the from the food delivery drivers ready to wake up at 5 a.m. and work straight to 9 p.m. just to give you a motivation? Come on. I'm doing my best, honestly. I just... I just want to spread the good energy around. And I hope you understand. So, the tips that I promised you. First, is to constantly reload your apps. What I actually mean. Uh, Uber Eats and Grubhub. If you don't receive the order within 5 to 10 minutes. I did every 5 minutes. If you don't receive it, just uh, go offline. Get off the app. Uh, turn on the app again and go online every five to ten minutes trust me on um, maximum on third on fourth attempt you will get the order uh, in DoorDash do not go offline uh, just stop your app uh, I mean uh, pause your app turn it off in five seconds turn it on and go back to get your orders or if it doesn't work anyways what you do is you do the same that I already said uh, uh, turn off your internet uh, I mean put the area for 15 20 seconds then turn on the internet again and just turn on all the apps so this is the first tip and I know this is simple however I don't know why so many people neglect with that. Just use that. Use that and you will see the result. Second tip. Do not stay in your car. Because for delivery apps, it matters if you stay in one place and you don't move. I understand. This is 
irrational using of your car if you just drive around and don't receive anything. You spend your gas, you spend your car's life, especially if you have a brand new car. Even if you have a brand new car, you don't need to ride around and waste it. Save your car's life. But what you can do is you can find a great spot, maybe next to the beach, with a great, amazing restaurants that on the high demands. Just leave your car next nearby and go for a walk. First of all, this is very good for your health because you're walking, you're like, you know, exercise your heart, your blood, circling, and this is good for you. Why first is your health and second, your productivity. Because if you just sit in the car, you become slow. Well, you get uh, this in order, but you don't want to receive. You don't want to accept that, just because of this kind of a mood. So keep on walking, keep on exercising yourself, and so you will stay, you know, in a good mood and keep rocking. And second, for the apps, you're gonna let them know that you are still moving, but you're not wasting your car and your gas. So keep moving in a good area where you can park your car and still be next to the high demand quali quality restaurants. Third tip, this is mostly for Uber Eats and Instacart, but I don't do Instacart, so. And the thing is, DoorDash and Grubhub customers, they don't really um, motivate it to increase or decrease the tips, but Uber Eats customers, they're very motivated to increase or decrease their tips because Uber always remind them in the end of the order when they receive the food if they want to adjust their tips. What I do is when I have a good order, like $40, but not for my job, but the receipt for their food is $40. That means that I can get 20, 25%, which is eight, nine, and maybe even $10 tips. What I do in this case, especially if uh, their receipt is like 60, 70, and even $100. When I arrive, doesn't matter if their food is ready. I text them, I've arrived, I'm waiting for your order. It's going to be ready in 10, 15, or maybe 20 minutes. Would you like me to wait? And I know it's not the best of me, but we need to make money, you know? So you do it if you want it. I'm not encouraging you, but this is how I maximize my earnings. And in 50% of the cases, customers increase their tips. Because in the reality, we really need to wait. We're waiting all the times while we're parking, while we're on the way to the restaurant, while we're on the way back to the car. We're still waiting. So why we don't say it, why we don't remind to the customers that we're doing a great job for them to enjoy their food and, you know, take all the hard steps to our side just to make their life easier. Why not? Let them give you their appreciation. However, still, your choice is your choice. I'm not encouraging you. If it doesn't sound nice for you, that's fine. I hope those tips will help you. You'll see the screenshots after I finish. Subscribe to my channel, leave your likes, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.